Hello my friends, welcome to Forex VKS Today is 6th of January 2023 So this is a new year uh, Happy 2023 for all of you I know that I've been missing Okay, I stopped this channel for quite some time Actually I wanted to uh, I change this channel a bit But but then what am I uh, what what am I doing if I'm not doing trading video right? I mean, <laughs> because trading is uh is our life now right? Okay, it's our life our life now. Of course, recently lately uh I mean at end of last year so there are some you know there are some uh, yeah how do we call it uh some uh, a precaution uh, we have to make okay some precaution we have to make but uh never mind okay now the the, the 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 channel will continue forex vks the forex channel will continue and hopefully okay we get more good setup this year okay before we start we have to go through a quick disclaimer first disclaimer be advised that i am not a professional financial consultant or advisor I am sharing this information for education purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, prices, or other information contained on this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Okay, happy 2023. So before we start, don't forget support the channel. Okay, subscribe, like, share, and comment. Okay, so uh, let's check out what is going on uh, with the DXY first. So this uh, the news the new the new video uh, the set I mean the. The format okay will be a bit more shorter okay because previously the, the video is I mean the video is quite long okay because uh, I was reviewing too many pairs okay so I want to make it easier for everybody so uh, we want to cut short a bit the video and uh, okay we try to uh, review le uh, less pair uh, okay less pair uh, okay so I mean we want to make money from the market right okay we want to make good have good setup. Only a few pairs is good enough. Uh, are good enough. Okay, we don't need to see hundred pairs to be uh, profitable in this uh, forex market. Uh. Okay, of course, in the beginning, before we start, we have to take a look at the XY. Okay, the US dollar, US dollar index, right? We want to take a look at uh, what is going on. Okay, so this uh, uh DXY actually hit a uh, uh, supply and demand. Okay, a uh, demand area which is here. Okay, a line here, so it hit a demand area. Okay, 103.658. Okay, so it's on its way up. Uh. Okay, so one way is the next supply area, the resistant area. Okay, we got one over here, we got one over here, and we got one over here. Okay, so there is two areas that you need to watch out if you... Okay, so there is a small gap. There's one over here. Yes, okay. One over here. And one over here. Okay, here. Okay, these are the... Uh, Okay, Sup supply area. Okay, so uh, but looking looking at the chart now, let's see whether it can go through one one zero five. Okay, if the, uh you uh, the X Y, it can go go through one zero five. It should have no okay no problem heading down to uh heading up to one zero seven. Okay, so there is a a prop a good uh probability that is going up, and uh because. You see that right, you have kind of a double bottom here, right? So there is a chance that this uh, DXY, okay, going, uh, going up. So for now we are, we are slightly bullish, okay. We are slightly bullish on DXY, okay. Let's look at Euro USD. Okay, Euro USD. I took a trade over here, one point zero seven one seven one, okay. Uh, a sell trade. So I'm expecting, okay, the price to come down to this uh, one point zero four six six six, uh, okay. So this is the next supply demand area which is aligned to here. Okay, the this is the 
uh, demand area okay the demand area okay we got a buying 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 over here buying over here so 104 okay 1.044 area okay so we expect the price okay to uh, come down to this area so I took a sell trade over here so look at pound USD okay pound USD okay, pound USD for now is a uh, uh, bearish uh, okay uh, okay it hit a supply demand area a supply area over here here okay here okay so the price is moving down but uh, the price is very near to a uh, support okay and near to a support which is a uh, uh, demand area okay a buying area over here okay so you have to be take note uh, if you are uh, if you already go into a trade you have to watch this area okay you have to watch this area 1.8140 okay. USD JPY okay USD JPY we are currently on a, a retracement of our uptrend okay we got an uptrend uh, we can see our uptrend uptrend now we are we are on a retracement so now okay we got a supply demand area over here okay one three zero okay uh, a, a demand area okay so we got a rejection over here a pin bar so the price is going up but we but the price is very near to the resistance area which is the demand area uh, sorry supply area one three four okay so do watch out one three four okay this is could be a take profit area okay. and you also see there is a actually there is a trend line over here right Okay, so your target, your short term target should be around here. AUD USD. Okay, AUD, AUD USD is on the downtrend now. Okay, now it's on the retracement. So AUD USD is, is actually on a, a bit sideways. Okay, so the the, uh, the supply area is here. 0 0.68804. Okay, so there is a possible sell trade over here towards this area. Okay, the, the demand area, this is the buying okay the buyers over here uh or you call it support okay last time we used to use we used we like to use the term support resistance support resistance support resistance uh, the, the, uh now it's a bit different okay the the uh newer traders uh, the newer traders uh, okay they they, they they change the term to supply and demand okay so and to give you see okay we got a supply area over here okay so the Price actually hit the supply area 0 0.64, so it start to drop. Okay, 0 0.6453. Uh, okay, start to drop. So the next uh, demand area, which is the support, okay, is over this area. Okay, do watch out. Okay, the next one USD cap. Okay, USD cap. Let me see. Uh, okay, USD cap. We got a uh, okay resistance, which is the supply area over here. Okay, so the price you see ah uh, so down, so being so down here. Uh, so it's on. It should be on its way down. Okay, it should be on its way down. Uh, there is a buying. There is a supply area over. Uh, there is a demand area over here. Uh, buying. Okay, so so uh, the price just pushed through. Uh, Okay, but the price uh, has retraced a bit. Uh, this one we have to wait and see. Okay, there's a there's a good probability that the price can come down to come back down to here. Okay, but it 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 it, it, it need to go through here first. Okay, it need to go to this area. Okay, uh, one point three five zero zero zero. Okay, look at go. Oh, okay, go go. Okay, go. There's a possible trade over here. Okay, we got a bearish engulfing candle over here. So the next uh, supply and demand area is around here. Okay, price start to push up, buy, buy. Okay, it's around here. Okay, so there's a possible short opportunity towards uh, 1787. Okay, towards this area. Maybe, let me see. Uh, uh, it could be a bit higher. Yeah, here. Put it here first, okay, for short term. 1805. Okay, so there is a possible 
uh, short term sell opportunity over here if it goes through one one eight zero five then the next uh, demand area would be around here First target should be around here, 1805, second target 1767. Okay, look at the look at the crude crude oil. Uh, Okay, look at crude oil. So crude oil we've got 70 and we are now at 74. So the supply area is here. Okay, so the price being sold down at this area, the demand area would be here. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, here. Okay. So the price is really near target. There's possible if once it hit this 71, there's a possible buy opportunity. We have to wait and see. Okay. Let's look at uh, SPI 200. Okay, SPI 200. Okay, where we are here, we are head here. Okay, we got a pin bar. Okay, we got a pin bar over here. Uh, we got a supply. Uh, we got demand area. Okay, demand area is this one at here. Six four. Yeah. Okay. 6991 uh, 6991 okay let me see the buying buying okay the buying start here okay 6959 okay so there is a possibility that the price is heading up towards this area okay towards this area okay 7129 so we have to wait and see what happened at uh, 7129 okay if we can go through 7129 there's possibility for it to continue up okay towards the towards the next uh, area which is around here this is here 7306 okay uh, look at uh, the dex look at dex okay dex are uh, heading towards a supply area a resistant Okay, we got a big rejection over here, big rejection over here. So possible we are looking for a sell trade on DEX. Huh? Okay, so what's DEX? There's a possible sell trade over here. Uh, uh, this uh, yeah, it's SPI now. Okay, DEX possible sell trade. What's DEX? Huh? Okay, so we're heading up. He's heading to a big resistant area. You can see a bearish price action here. There's possible a sell trade over here. Look at S&P. Okay, S&P nothing much. Okay, it's consolidating. Okay, it's consolidating between these two area, these two uh, supply demand area. Okay, so there's nothing much to uh, trade now on sideways. Look at Nasdaq. Okay, Nasdaq we got a uh, uh, demand area over here. Ten thousand seven zero three. Okay, so we there's a possible buy opportunity, but if you buy here now, you're having you're you're having a counter trend, but we got three touch at the bottom. Okay, we already got three touch at the bottom. We got a, uh, uh, let me see, uh, not very strong resistant, uh, not very strong pattern over here. We have to wait and see for this one. I uh, look at Dow Jones. Hold on, uh. Okay, take a look at uh, Dow Jones. Okay, Dow Jones, we have a, a su supply area over here. 33. Uh, Thirty. 3377 okay 
so we got uh, let me see uh, oh, the whole trend uh. okay so this one we are still okay still under a downtrend we got correction over here so there's a possibility that uh, we, we the price got rejected over here which is important okay this is very important okay uh, 34,308 so the price got rejected on this uh, supply area. Now it's coming back down. Let's see where is the the demand. Uh, okay, the demand area. Yep. Okay, we got a demand area probably over here. So this one there is no place to go. Uh, okay, demand area is over here. Okay, so this one also there's nothing much to play. Okay, price is in the in between the support and resistance, which is a supply demand area. So nothing much to look at. Look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is still flat. Okay, there's nothing much. Okay, there's nothing much to talk about here. Okay, supply demand is here. Eighteen thousand five hundred seventy nine, and uh, fifteen thousand nine hundred nine hundred fifteen. Okay, a break above and below only there is a possibility possible trade. Uh, look at Ethereum. Okay, Ethereum similar. This Bitcoin just is just not going. This uh, crypto is just not going anywhere. Uh, crypto is just not going anywhere for now. Too many bad news. Okay, too many bad news and uh, prob probably U.S. recession coming. You know, recession coming. But there's no uh, not enough uh, 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 how do we call it uh, uh, not enough money in the market. Uh, okay, not enough money. Okay, in the in the market to pump up all these uh, uh exotic <laughs> how they call it uh, exotic uh investment right okay so okay possibility euro USD okay the train already left so euro USD there's a possible trade here but the train already left <laughs> okay so too late Mr Bean. Okay, train really left. How USD also play train really left. USD JPY also train really left. AUD USD. Okay, AUD USD. Okay, there's a rejection, but the price now in the middle nowhere. Okay, also NZD also also no. Uh, USD cat. Okay, USD cat. There's an opportunity. Okay, there's an opportunity. Uh, let me see. But the price actually closed above. The price went back above one point three five. So we have to wait and see for this one. Go, okay. Go, there's a potential. Okay, go, there's potential. Huh? Okay, so go, there's a potential for a sell trade towards a 1805 and possible towards 1767. Okay, uh, other than that. Yes, okay. Okay, the decks also. Okay, the decks also. There's a possible opportunity over here. Okay, there's a sell on uh, fourteen thousand five hundred and ninety-two. Wait for a bearish price action. There's possible sell trade. Okay, possible sell opportunity over here. Other than that, S and P no Nasdaq no. Okay, so these are the pair that you need. Uh, these are the uh, uh, instrument that you need to check out. Euro USD, uh, XAU USD, and uh, DAX. Okay, German 30. Uh, okay. So that's it for today. I'll talk to you again. Don't forget. Do don't forget to subscribe. Okay, if you are new here, subscribe to the to my video, like and share and comment. Uh, so I will at least uh, do a few video each week. Okay, to continue with our uh, previous trend. Uh, okay. So we'll continue to do the video. So hopefully you guys come back and support my channel. So I find I will try try my best to find a good setup to discuss. Okay, to share with you guys. Thank you first for your for revisiting uh, the Forex VKS. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye bye.